Right, hello everybody, welcome to this gallery talk at the uh, Victoria Gallery and Museum. Uh, I'm Dr Alan Greaves. I'm just going to set out uh, a brief history of the exhibition um, and the materials in it uh, for a few minutes. Um, and then we'll wander around and have a question and answer session and be a bit more relaxed after that. Um, so the purpose of this exhibition, it's called The Lost Gallery, John Garstang and the Discovery of the Hittite World. And John Garstang was the first professor of archaeology at the University of Liverpool. And he was instrumental really in um, establishing an academic basis for what we now know to be the Hittite Empire. And he did this by travelling around Turkey, taking photographs and also taking casts, uh, which is uh, replicas in plaster of Paris uh, of uh, reliefs and, in, and sculptures and inscriptions uh, that, that had been made by the Hittites. Um, and the concept behind this exhibition was that Garstang um, and the people at uh, Liverpool Public Museums had created the world's first, what we believe to be the world's first, Hittite gallery here in Liverpool and it was bombed in 1941. So that is the lost gallery that we have tried to recreate here to re give back to the people of Liverpool a little bit of their culture, a little bit of their lost history. Cast collecting then was a very important activity because now we've got uh, 3D uh, laser scanning, 3D photocopying and printing and, and anything can be made in resin and all these new fancy materials, plastic, all that kind of thing. Uh, back then, they didn't have that ability, and so they would take uh, copies using, uh, using papier-mâché, fill that then with plaster of Paris, uh, and that would be put on display in a gallery. And the idea behind that was that people used to have go on the grand tour. They would go around Europe and they would see all of the classical sculptures and be inspired by these great buildings and works of art. Um, um, but not everybody could afford to do that, um, and so it was easier to make models and then bring them back and put them into museums, which were very much seen as being an important part of uh, British, uh, Victorian and Edwardian culture for the betterment uh, of the people and all that kind of thing. So uh, it was for the education of the masses in, in, uh, in fine art and what have you. Uh, so that's what the purpose of casts were. When we were preparing for this exhibition, unfortunately the plaster casts Garstang made were destroyed in the bombing of 1941 and subsequently. Um, and so we went to the British Museum and in their stores, which is like a real uh, treasure trove of, of plaster casts of all of the world's great sculptures, um, we found uh, these casts here, which were made at the uh, site of Sachguzu, which is now uh, uh, not such because these were made at uh, Karkamesh, which is now in Turkey on the Turkish-Syrian border, uh, by um, Leonard Woolley and T. E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia. <coughs> and so we have made an exhibition out of these, trying to recreate one of Garstang's uh, early excavations out in Turkey over a century ago. He really was a, an archaeological uh, pioneer. So uh, as we walk around the gallery you'll hear, see, smell and feel uh, a little bit like what it was to be on an Edwardian uh, excavation in the Near East at the time of Agatha Christie and her husband the archaeologist Max Malaman uh, and John Garstang and Leonard Woolley and, and T. Lawrence all of whom were uh, very famous British archaeologists working in that part of the world at the time. So it's really an immersive experience that we've tried to create to make you feel what it was like to be on a dig uh, back then. 